Ring out wild bells, ring out wild bells to the wild sky, the flying cloud, the frosty light. The year is dying in the night, ring out wild bells and let him die. Ring out the old, ring in the new, ring happy bells across the snow. The year is going, let him go, ring out the false, ring in the true. Ring out the grief that saps the mind for those that here we see no more. Ring out the feud of rich and poor. Ring in redress to humankind. Ring out the slowly dying cause and ancient forms of party strife. Ring in the nobler modes of life with sweeter manners, purer laws. Ring out the want, the care, the sin, the faithless coldness of the times. Ring out, ring out my mournful rhymes, but ring the fuller minstrel in. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the love of truth and right, ring in the common love of good. Ring out old shapes of foul disease, ring out the narrowing lust of gold. Ring out the thousand wars of old, Ring in the thousand years of peace. Ring in the valiant and the free, the larger heart, the kinder hand. Ring out the darkness of the land. Ring in the Christ that is to be. <laughs> Thank you. 
The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin whose name was Mary, betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph, and he came to her and said, Halo, favoured one, the Lord is with you. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. For he will be great and will be called the Son of Most High. At that time, a law went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered to each ancestral city. And Joseph left Galilee and went to Bethlehem to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for Mary to give birth to her firstborn son. And she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn. In that area there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. An angel of the Lord appeared, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. And the angel said to them, Be not afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you, you will find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. All at once there was a multitude of angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among men with whom he is pleased. And they hurried to the place where that they had been told, and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem in the days of Herod the king, behold, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, saying, where is he who has been born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and have come to worship him. And the star which they had seen went before them, until it came to rest over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. And going into the house, they saw the child with Mary his mother, and they fell down and they worshipped him. Then, opening their treasures, they offered him gifts, gold, and frankincense and myrrh.
no idea what to do with this homework. Oh, they're calling. Hey. hey. Hi. Hi. Any idea? Miss Leonard is making me do the Christmas story for school. I don't know what I'm doing. Isn't the Christmas story just about Santa giving away all the presents? Oh, I have it in here. Oh, I'll go first, but you guys can help me. In those days, Caesar... Caesar salad! Oh, I had that for lunch! Caesar cheesecake. ...issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone went to their own town to register. What? Like a school register? Sure. So, Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David. Like David off Bake Off. He's going to win, you know. David made the cheesecake. Oh, guys, so why did he even go there? Because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in the manger. What's a manger? Something animals eat out of. And because there was no guest room available for them, and there were shepherds living out in, in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. What's a flock? Oh, a flock of birds. Ah. Oh. No, a flock of sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you, a messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, Up the staircase? Yeah. Sure. The shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened to which the Lord has told us about. So, they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. I still don't know what a manger is. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told about this child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. So what do you think? Nice story. So it's not nice. just about Santa? I get it now. No, it's not just about Santa. It's a lot more than that. You can finish the homework by yourself now. Bye! See you Bye. Soon. Bye. Bye. Two, a one, two, three, four.